Hi everyone, my name is Tom Zobel. I am an RMM admin here at Proval Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you a lesser known shortcut for quickly applying a remote monitor that you have tested on a single machine to a group once it's ready for production. So usually when we see our partners create a new remote monitor, this is kind of the process that they follow. So they'll find a target machine, they'll create the monitor here against one machine, and they'll test it out on a pilot uh, agent, which is the right way to do it. And then once they've messed with it, made sure the configuration is good, made sure that the alert template is what they want, they'll come into the group and they'll just kind of put it side by side and create it one to one from here manually using the original settings that they applied to the agent. And there's actually a quicker way to do this and one that makes sure that all your settings are going to be copied over properly. So to demonstrate, we're gonna go back to our test machine here and we're going to create a new monitor. And for the sake of example, let's call it Google DNS ping test. Let's make sure the targeting is set to this computer. As always, need to have an alert template set whenever we create a new monitor. So we're gonna come down here and it is recommended to do default do nothing until you have some test data so you know whether or not you're going to be actually creating tickets when you start testing. Go to the configuration, a simple ping check to 8.8.8.8. And finally, let's test it out before we create it to make sure that we're actually getting data. So it's gonna send four pings to that IP address and shortly here we should have a response. And it is successful. 16 millisecond response time, good to see. Everything appears to be working, so we're going to add new monitor. So now, we'll come back down to the agent level, refresh the screen, and we're gonna find our brand new monitor. So it's still in the status of installing, but let's say that it's several hours later. We have now given it lots of time to run. Maybe we killed the network adapter on it to give it some test failures to make sure that it uh, alerts properly when it doesn't work and it's ready for production. So instead of creating it one to one here just by mirroring the settings, opening it up side by side and risking missing something when you go through and start to configure it over here, we can actually just right click, hit send to and then groups. And this is a much easier way to do it. So momentarily here, a group screen is going to pop open. You can find the group or uh, multiple groups here if you so choose and assign it to them. So in this case, I'm going to send it through to the ping test group, which I created for the sake of this video, and we'll hit send. And the nice thing about this, you don't even have to reload your cache and reopen the group if you already have it open. Just click refresh here. Here is our monitor. This is now going to apply to every computer that we don't have it excluded from at this group level. We can set the alert template to something we want and we are good to go. This is ready for production. So hopefully that shortcut will help save you some time in the future when you're messing around with remote monitors. And as always, thank you very much for watching guys. We post new videos weekly to share our knowledge about Automate. To learn more, please visit provaltech.com. There's a link in the video description below. Thank you.